That's why I'm making this video for you guys. I want to make this video for all you guys. All you guys. Andy, Riley, Matthew, Ryan, Nikki, Anwin, Anwin. And when... All right, I guess we're actually doing this. I swear to God, man, I've been humoring you for more than a year, but like now you're calling me out by name. I, I can't just not say anything. Can't leave another comment because you'll either ignore it or respond about like the very minute point I make at the end for three paragraphs. So this more recent video was a lot. Context, this is Noah. I met him in first grade. We were friends up through about eight. Uh, that's about when I realized that he was incredibly toxic, not very nice. Ah, that's unfair. No, it's not. In high school, he went to a different high school, so like, we didn't talk about that. And April of 2021, how do I put this? Dude joined a cult? I, I wish I was, like he, I've gone through so many websites of signs that your friend has joined a cult and he hits so many. Literally was pulled away from his church and found a better way to honor Jesus. It's a fucking mess. Just a heads up, there will be swearing in this video because I cannot filter myself with stuff like this. I am fine with religion. I think it's really nice that people find comfort in that. And honestly, I have this Bible. I've had it since I was a kid and I read it a lot because I genuinely enjoyed it. Then I got older and realized people act as if it's a historical document. I still respect that people can believe what they want, but when they try to tell me that what I'm believing is wrong, I'm gonna fire back. I'm sorry, it's just the way my brain works. So yeah, dude, dude joined this cult, moved to uh, Ukraine for it, and moved to Armenia, uh, then all of a sudden uh, came back to Canada. Stopped posting for a couple of days. At one point he said he was gonna walk from Ukraine to Egypt and... Dude, you wouldn't have survived that. Like, we checked Google Earth, we checked everything, every route you could have taken. You would not have made it with just a backpack. Not to mention, you wouldn't have been able to even, like, cross any of the borders because you said you weren't getting rapid tested. And I don't know how I feel about it now, but at least in elementary school, you were avidly anti-vax. So I can't imagine you got your COVID shots, but you must have if you're back in Canada now. Anyway, back in Canada. He has been posting videos on YouTube and TikTok. For, I want to say the past year, probably less. I haven't really been keeping track. And, you know, my friends and I have been following along with it. Because, like, we knew him. And personally, I'm worried about him. In order to see why, we're going to go through this this newest video that he posted. I, I, I watched it. Yeah. I, I was supposed to be paying attention in learning environments, but this seemed eh, important. And then after my class was done, I rewatched it and took notes. So, we're, we're gonna go through here. First off, dude, welcome back. I haven't missed ya. Your videos hurt my head, my guy. I've been trying to humor you. I've been trying to genuinely learn something. But, uh, yeah, that went out the window after the going into a church while people are praying and calling them wicked and telling them they need to turn away from false idols. That's a dick move. They're not hurting anyone. They're just... Roll the clip. Idolatry. Idols, worshipping Mary, worshipping the saints. This is idolatry. This is wicked. Why are you praying to saints? Why are you praying to Mary? This is not what God intended. Okay, let's get into this then. I'm gonna tell you that lifestyle I used to live, it left me empty and it will leave you empty too. Playing video games all the, all the time, playing all day every day. None of us are playing video games all day every day. We, we have lives. Some of us play a lot of video games, me a little less so, but like that's just because I'm bad at them. But like video games are like for fun. It's not all we do. Like we have jobs and school. Personally, I have school, which three days of the week I'm going on a field placement for, and I'm writing a novel. So video games are just like there sometimes, and it's mostly just me making my characters for my novel in The Sims. That's all going on. Watching porn at night? I'm not even exaggerating when I say I have never watched porn struggling with lust and uh, i promise i'm i'm not plagued with lust or anything dude I, i've literally been out as asexual since eighth grade you were in my class when i came out i can promise you that lust is not on my list of issues it's not even an issue but I was stuck in a loop. I was empty. Nothing would fill me. I was alone. I was depressed. I was anxious. 
Everything made me angry. I had no connection with my family. My relationships with my family and friends were terrible. Okay, but I believe we call that male puberty? It's a lot of testosterone. Makes you mad. Also, just like anxiety, depression. A lot of that could honestly be caused by the church. Religious trauma is real. Look it up. Also, uh, no offense, man, but yeah, you were you were kind of a pretentious dick back then. I say back then. I say this from the most loving place. The the day you told me the dinosaurs were killed in a flood, I died inside. If that were true, where did the aquatic ones go? Where are the unicorns? What happened to the small dinosaurs that, you know, Noah definitely could have fit on that there boat? Why did he decide dinosaurs weren't allowed to come, but lions were? Wolves? Panda bears? Muskrats? Bees? Wait, what? How, how did the insects live? You can't get an insect on a boat; it'll fly away. Okay, this is this is a tangent. I'm just no, I'm not. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna figure this out. Uh, Red Sea, Passover, Burning Bush, Cain and Abel, Noah's boat. Any children themselves? Blah, blah, blah. Gonna build a boat. Heavy rain fell. Flood. Yeah, no, th doesn't explain. Anyway, tangent. There is hope for you, man. I love you guys so much, man, and that's why I'm making this video, and that's why I make all these videos. I love you too, man, but only in a, I'm a deeply empathetic person, and I love everyone who hasn't committed murder, or, you know, assaulted children. That's a, that's a pretty big one. Something that, you know, the church does quite often. Never mind. You got baptized when you were underage in the leader of your cult's hot tub but anyway that's why i text you guys that's why i message you guys okay out of our group you have only messaged one person most of us have not heard anything unless you reply to our comments on your videos so i want to tell you that there is hope for you there is hope for you you don't have to stay in this brokenness uh not not feeling that broken thanks you don't have to stay feeling empty. No, not, not, not empty either. You can be satisfied. You don't have to be left hungry every day. You don't have to be left with a void every day. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with myself. No void. You don't need to have sleepless nights anymore. Honestly, most of my sleepless nights are just because I'm scrolling through AO3. I'm telling you, there is something that will fill you, and it's Jesus. Oh, yes. Jesus will fill me. You remember I'm asexual, right? Jesus is the only thing that will fill you, and I'm telling you, man, it's not a religion. You say it's not about religion, but then you literally mention a religious figure. It's real. It's real, man. I'm here to tell you, man, it's real. Jesus is real. Dude, you have to know how you... You can't be this tone deaf. You're literally spouting off words like a cultist. I mean this from the most loving place. I'm worried. You are so loved. Loved. Because there's so many of you who are out there, so many of my friends, you guys are empty. Again, not, not feeling very empty. April of 2021, Jesus changed my life! In other words, April 2021, you literally joined a cult. I wish I were kidding, bud, but you're fitting all the criteria. Jesus changed my life, that's why I'm not living the way I used to live, because I was empty before. That's why I'm making this video for you guys. Look, bud, I, I, I'm really glad that you're happy now. Like, it sounds like it sucked when you were a kid, which is awful, and I hate that you had to go through that. But it sounds like you're projecting that depression and anxiety onto us and thinking that because we aren't doing the same thing you're doing spiritually that we must also be feeling this crushing emptiness. It's a bit presumptuous. I want to make this video for all you guys, all you guys, Andy, Riley, Matthew, Ryan, Nikki, Anwin, Jonah, Nathan, Josh, Drew... I'm making this video for you guys. There's so many more of you. George, I'm making this video for you guys. There's so many more. I can't list you all. I'm making this video for you guys. Jack, I'm making this video for you. You keep repeating yourself, my guy. Like, just move on to the next point. It's not a religion. I'm not trying to sign you up to a religion. I'm not trying to sign you up to a church. I'm telling you that there is a relationship with Jesus. Again, Jesus is a symbol of Christianity which is a religion. You mention Jesus, you're mentioning religion. You are not just here. This is not just all nonsense. We're not here for no purpose, man. You have a purpose in this life. Look, I know I have a purpose to be on this earth. Like, I don't think that it's all for nothing, but I just don't think that a faceless deity assigned that purpose to me before I was born. I kind of figured it out on my own. 
My purpose is to make sure that I, and as many people as I can make possible, are happy. I just don't want people to be sad. This is why you're watching this video. It is not by chance. You did not watch this video by chance. God is calling you. He's tugging at your heartstrings. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not watching this video by chance. I'm, I'm watching this video because I actively chose to subscribe to you because I'm worried. How many times do I need to reiterate that? He's saying, I love you, my son. I love you, my daughter. You were created for a purpose. Guess they're not talking to me. I've told you this many times, my dude. I ain't a son or a daughter. It would be so much faster and easier for you to just have them say my child, which they do anyway. It's like you're actively trying to exclude me from this, even though you mentioned my name. You were called for a purpose. God has a greater purpose for you than just sitting in your room crying and alone. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but like, I'm, I'm not sitting in my room crying or anything. But most days I'm either doing something school related or, you know, working on writing my book. He has a purpose for you than just being angry and alone, depressed and anxious. I'll admit, high school was a bit hard, but currently I am not depressed, angry, or alone. Anxiety is a different story, but that's genetic. You don't have to be stuck anymore in this hopeless world. I'm not feeling stuck. I'm actually feeling pretty optimistic about my future. One month left of placement, and then I get a couple of exams, and I get to go on summer vacation for a bunch of months. Get to have the time of my life. Might get a job. It'll be fun. You can be joyful, man. I'm telling you, there is joy. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty joyful. My book's going well. My stuff's going well. I get to just vibe. Jesus is real! He's real! Jesus is real! You know, most of the time, when when things are real, you don't yell it three times in succession. The sky is blue! The sky is blue! The sky is blue! See, see, it's just unnecessary. He's not a myth! He's not a story! He's not a history character! Wait, how can Jesus be real but not a historical figure? Historical figures were real. Abraham Lincoln, historical figure. Freddie Mercury. Pretty iconic historical figure. Most people don't consider him that, but, you know. He's alive. The dude died 2,000 years ago. He died for your sins and he rose again because death had no power over him because he never sinned. That, that, that's not how death works. There are a lot of sin-free people in, in this here book who, who still die. They, they don't come back. I thought Jesus, like, came back because he was magic. Well, not magic, because that's apparently sin, but, like, God magic. And Jesus did it for you. He took your penalty. He took your sin, all your wicked stuff that you've done. He put it on that cross, and he paid your debt. But my sins hadn't happened yet when he died. How can he be paying for something that hasn't happened yet? That's like paying a parking ticket when you parked legally and didn't get a ticket. And then 20 years later, you parked in a handicapped spot and got a ticket, but you're like, oh, I already paid this. And they're like, that's not how it works. How did you do that? And now you just got to turn to him. He wants a relationship with you right now, starting today. You know, sometimes I actually do talk to God. Yeah, uh, dude seems fine. Like, hasn't given me any big sign that what I'm doing is wrong. Seems pretty satisfied with where I am. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. You've said, you've said, you've said. It, even if your parents don't love you. Even if your friends don't love you. Bruh, my parents and friends do love me. Even if your brothers and sisters don't love you. Siblings too. Jesus loves you. Why are you yelling? That's why I'm so passionate about this because I know it's real because he changed my life. Look, I'm happy you're happy, but calm down, my dude. It's not that big of a deal. But there is good news, and that is Jesus. He came to set you free. He came to heal your heart. He came to have a relationship with you, man. He saves planets and whole civilizations, and that is why the doctor changed my life. This is, yeah, ten supremacy. Jesus doesn't want to see you broken. I'm not broken. Doing pretty well for myself. Yeah, I know there's all kinds of bad news going on out there, but there is good news, and that is Jesus. You know, that that's not really news. It's more just a name. Could you elaborate? If you're out there and you're wondering, Jesus, are you real? If you really want to know, I just want to encourage you, whether it's after this video, tonight when you're alone in your bed, just ask. Just ask. You know, I, I, I have actually asked. I've been since I was a kid because, like, I was just curious about it. Um, I, I heard nothing, probably, I, I don't have religious psychosis, which is an actual thing, look it up, but... And to say, Jesus, my old friend Noah, who seems to be a little crazy... Old friend Noah. The same Noah who once told me that 
he was only my friend because he was a good person. Is, is that the old friend you're referring to? If you ask with a sincere heart, if you just want to know, then just ask. I have asked, sincerely. I literally just want to understand what you're doing. I sincerely am curious, and I want to know. And I hear nothing. If you really want to know, pick up a Bible. Oh, I have a Bible. I, I showed earlier. See? I, I love it. The pictures are so pretty. It is a really nice bunch of stories like it is amazing i told you i read it multiple times as a kid i was really invested but you put it on such a pedestal that you neglect common sense and science if it is real it's going to be the biggest deal because it's either heaven or hell because there's a life after this well personally i believe in reincarnation so there's actual evidence for it like it Circumstantial evidence at best, but it's kind of interesting to think about. So where are you going to spend your eternity? Are you going to spend it in heaven or hell? Ah, uh, yeah, hell will be one hell of a party. So I just want to encourage you, man, all you guys. This is not, I'm not just making this YouTube video just for random people. I, this is for you. You didn't even like me. Legitimately. And you told me that multiple times. I'm not going to act like I was easy to like back then. But honestly, most of that was the repressed ADHD, the unrecognized gender dysphoria, and just all the abandonment issues that you helped give me. I'm not even gonna mention the being my friend because you were a good person thing again. Cause like, as a 10 year old, that was kind of comforting. But as a 19 year old, that's a fucked up thing to say to someone. God is good. And he loves you, he created you for a purpose. He's got a plan for your life. That's why I watch this video, it's not a chance. Look man, if there's a God watching over me, that's great. Okay, I, I actually find that kind of comforting. That's why I kind of talk to the dude sometimes. But, like, his followers and, like, people, like, you, you need to get over yourselves. You're not superior to everyone else just because you believe this. If God loves us the way you say, then he wouldn't care if we believe in him or not. Because a father's love should never be conditional. Jesus will show you. The man is dead. <laughs> Let it go. What is with the dramatic piano music? Dude, I am worried about you. I know you're probably just gonna ignore this video or leave a long comment under it or make a response video or whatever. Probably gonna ignore most of the things I'm saying. But like, legitimately know that everything I am saying to you, I am saying out of genuine concern. You up and moved to Ukraine and Armenia. You went into a church where people were actively praying and yelled at them to repent. I was happy you were happy until you started hurting other people. So, whoa. Oh, this has been a long 20 minutes. Look. If Jesus is around and, like, all that stuff, then I hope the guy's having a good time, like, genuinely. But based on all of the Bible things I've actually read, I think he would hate the way most people who preach about him act. And, like, the whole God thing. One of the main things that God wanted was for everyone to love thy neighbor. That doesn't mean try to convert thy neighbor. That means love them unconditionally. And not just say that you love them while trying to educate them. Leave people alone. I'm happy you're happy, but it's genuinely concerning to me that you feel the need to scream your beliefs at people on the internet or in their places of worship or at a random mall. I'm genuinely concerned for your mental health. I don't know what is happening, but sincerely, I'm glad that you are not feeling what you felt in elementary school and high school anymore. But you need to understand not everyone who isn't following your cult feels like that. I feel good about where I am. I finally know who I am, firstly. A lot of the problems that I had while we were friends were because I was convinced I was a girl.
because that's what I was told. What I found out, I wasn't, and I actually found a word for what I am. Everything felt better. It wasn't immediately perfect, but it was better. And every video where you say, my son, my daughter, and then leave it at that, including this one where you mentioned me by name, it sucks. I'm not either of those, and I feel like God doesn't care, because God wouldn't have made it possible if it wasn't supposed to happen. It's either God gave man free will or everything is part of God's plan. You can't be both. That's literally double think from 1984. Not the year, the book. I'm not overwhelmed with lust, as I said, because I am asexual. Which you know because I told you when I came out in 8th grade. You seem to have selective memories, though. Plain and simple. You weren't a great friend. That's not even plain or simple. You were a jerk. I'm happy you're in a better place now, and I like to think you only acted like that because of how bad you were feeling, in which case I am sorry that you felt like that. You gotta acknowledge, though, like, you fucked me up so bad in the head. You said so many things and acted just awful to me. I forgave you because that's the kind of person I am, but honestly, I'm not entirely sure you deserved it. And just screaming at me that I need to turn to Jesus to have a happy life is not helping your case. My life is already pretty happy. And I can't speak for everyone. And I know some people are, you know, that you mentioned are not going through the best of times right now. But honestly, Jesus, for these specific people, probably won't help. It helped you, which is amazing, but you can't universalize these things. I think that's it. Take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. And know all, I'm happy you're happy. But that doesn't mean that I'm not.